share this podium with one of our Sunday school members who have grown up in this church. It is my pleasure to bring Xavier Bromfield to the mic. Please help me welcome Xavier. Hi, good morning. Um, happy Mother's Day to everyone here who is a mom, who has served as a mom to, yeah, to anyone in any way. Um, firstly, um, I would like to invite Mrs. Oreen to share her journey, her experiences being a grandmother, a very vital role that most of our grandmothers have played in our lives. Come forward. Happy Mother's Day, not only to all the mothers, but to all the fathers who have had to play both roles. So, I already had children when Carol, my sister-in-law, announced she was pregnant with her first child, and yet her mother, Daisy, exuded immeasurable joy that was not witnessed before. So a baffled friend of hers had to ask, but Daisy, she said, you already have children and grandchildren. She replied, yes, I do, but this is different. This is a daughter's child. Fast forward 25 years or so, and by that time, my son has gifted me with two wonderful, amazing grandsons. Then my daughter announces she's with child. A light bulb goes off in my head. And Daisy's words come back loud and clear. This is a daughter's child. Like her, I couldn't contain myself and desperately wanted the nine months to hurry up and come. <laughs> in this era of technology, with my daughter in Florida and us in Jamaica, she kept us in the loop by sending us pictures via WhatsApp, ultrasound pictures, mind you, of this tiny person's progress. We can see our grandbaby growing and growing in her womb and moving, but the months keep creeping along. They're not hurrying. Doug and I happen to be in Florida. He's recovering from back surgery when my son-in-law calls. He's taken Aaliyah to a hospital. I must come now. No coincidence. I arrive in time to hold her hand, and I knew this miracle would be a healthy and perfect child, and I'll be ever be grateful, God, if it's a girl. <laughs> and it is. When my beautiful granddaughter entered the world, visions of ribbons and frilly socks popped in my head. I will start sewing again, I said. I will have hair to braid, and I'll be spending tons of time in Florida. Yes, it's definitely different when it's a daughter's child. morning again. Um, it's very surreal that I'm standing in this capacity as a mother. As a young woman, I always envisioned myself being a mother and having my own family. But I always saw myself with a girl. <laughs> my son, Zanari, entered my world when I was dissatisfied with life, coping with unexpected changes, and I felt completely empty. Happiness was not my first emotion when I found out that we were expecting him. I was flooded with negative feelings of sadness, confusion, and nervousness. Reflecting on the day we went for the ultrasound to learn the sex of the baby, my fiance Lionel was jumping for joy, and even went as far as to kiss my foot bottom. <laughs> he was very thankful for our son, but I did not feel that same connection to our unborn child. That all changed on February 17, 2017, 
my son, Zanari, Richardo, Washington, Morgan, <laughs> has been a miracle in my life. He took me from a melancholy place and reignited light and happiness in my world. There are so many days that I look at Zanari in amazement and I'm in disbelief that he's an extension of me. Most days I ask myself, is this actually real? Is he real? Just seeing him in the bed and just observing him. The love that I feel for him is unexplainable and uh, there are three traits that I admire about Zanari. One, he loves everyone unconditionally. When you are in his presence, Zanari, he's always greeting you with a smile. He has his infamous wink <laughs> and he often runs to strangers and gives them a big hug, which I don't necessarily like. <laughs> Even when we're at the stoplight, he's often waving and playing with the persons who are homeless. It warms my heart that he's able to bring joy to their life for that little second that we're there. Zanari, he adjusts to new environment and people with ease. And this has given me the flexibility to return to work. And every morning, I'm given the bye. <laughs> it's almost as if, you know, if he's okay with me going, right? And that gives me a sense of comfort knowing that he's well. Currently, he's at the stage where he understands emotions. And he's aware when I'm happy, he's aware when I'm sad, and if he does something inappropriate, he often apologizes by saying, I'm sorry. Over the past two years, I understand why I'm blessed with Zanari. He compliments my lifestyle. I was able to rediscover my purpose in life, and he has given me the freedom to serve others in the mental health field. My job is very hectic, and um, just being able to leave him with my mom, send him to daycare, I can get to work like 7 a.m. in the morning and leave at 8, he's okay with it, and um, he's always happy when I return. One of my favorite author, Deepak Chopra, explained Shakti, and that is the Divine Mother. The Divine Mother is an essential, nurturing, life-giving energy. She represents the power of beauty, the power of intuition, the power of creativity, the power of compassion, and the power of love. This dynamic, potent energy, Shakti, means feminine power. This power doesn't reside only in women. Shakti is a divine spark and flow of God's love within each of us. So there are different elements to Shakti. Understanding. At the deepest level, we are all aspects of the same infinite being in different disguises. Instead of imposing, Shakti communicates and seeks to understand. And with my son, every day I'm trying to understand him. Two, patience. Rather than forcing an answer or solution, Shakti has patience and waits for the solution to emerge. And with that, answers normally emerges from the confusion 
and chaos in the situation, but we have to be patient. And that's something that I work on every day <laughs> with my son, patience. Compassion. Instead of ignoring or suppressing emotions, Shakti pays attention to the emotions and the signals of the body and can tell when someone else is ready to listen and act. She allows love and compassion to guide her. Peace. Shakti is peaceful and allows herself and those around her the freedom to be as they are. She accepts each moment as it is, knowing that the whole universe is, at, is as it should be. Creativity. Shakti creates solutions where none were seen before. She knows that she has the ability to fulfill all her dreams because her essential nature is pure potentiality. Wisdom. Shakti is wise. She sees the cosmic perspective, which always comes from love. She lives from the domain of spirit, which asks, how can I help? How can I serve? I feel very privileged to be sharing the journey of motherhood with Zanari. And I'm excited for the years to come. And with all the elements listed by Shakti, understanding, patience, compassion, peace, creativity, and wisdom, all those elements are a growing process in my life. And it's something that I work on every single day. Thank you, Zanari, wherever he is, he's somewhere running around, <laughs> for allowing me to nurture and love you. Thank you for loving me, my baby Much. Happy Mother's Day, and thank you.